Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dan Plays XCOM. Uh, I guess I'm a little turned around. There we go, that's how it should be. But we're watching uh, the uh, the XCOM crew assault a, I believe a landed UFO. It's not a, um, it's not one that I shot down. No, you know what? I did shoot it down. That looks like shot down fire. And I think the UFO might, might be over here. I don't know. I, I should probably know these maps by now, but I don't. So, whatever, y'all. Like, figuring it out. So, let's, uh, let's keep moving everybody, uh, everybody up. Get everybody sort of ready to, ready to roll. Um, I'm gonna have Josh Dash up to here. I think he's a rook. Yeah, he's got the little rook signal there. Rook sign. Uh, so is Rob. And I believe I accidentally put, yeah, I put my sniper into Overwatch with his pistol, not his uh, sniper rifle. So I'm gonna Overwatch everybody else instead of moving forward. And then, oh, looks like the bad guys are over there. All right, so let's uh, get back to sniper rifle. Put him on Overwatch. Let's start. Uh, I don't want to get flanked, so let's start moving that way a little bit, too. That's the UFO, isn't it? Yes, it is, which is a problem if we get too close to it and we trigger one of their uh, one of their bad guys. Let's see what we can do over here, though. Get close, but not too close. Put him on Overwatch. I might want to use that shotgun, so let's... Uh, Move forward slowly but surely with the rest of these guys. Yeah, she dashed. Uh, I don't know if that was a good idea, but everybody's set up, ready to go, ready to kick some alien ass. Let's uh, let's not overextend myself since we're in view of the UFO. All right, they're probably still somewhere around about there. So let's uh, let's have some of the rooks continue to move forward, but stay in Overwatch. And uh, there's my other rook. I'm gonna hold off on this shotgunner in case I need it. That's a no-go there. And let's see how close I can get over here with my heavy. Okay, so now let's uh, run and gun move myself position. out a little bit. Although I could be putting myself in a really terrible position. I think that should be safe. There we go. There are the mute sounds that I was hearing. So, okay. Here we get some reaction shots. They're probably going to all be misses. And I think they're all out of Eye line of my sniper, I guess, because oh, there we go. I was about to say, where's uh, where is my shot, Daniel the Manual Mesa? All right, nice crit, nice crit. So I've also, I think my shotgunner should have a an assault or a uh, a stunner, but can't stun right now. So let's uh, let's take 56% chance is the best shot with my uh, um, shotty, and it looks like that's the best shot I'm gonna get. So. As always, the math works out. Trust me on this. We're going to rapid fire and get a kill on him, which is good. He's the closest. I could have stunned him, but I don't want to lose my shotgunner. So let's uh, let's see what they do as they slowly sort of try and manipulate around her and shoot down some trees. And let's see what this guy does if he moves to better cover. Nope. He moves to shitty cover, but he has a better shot for probably from that close. Oh, and he blood calls. They're not going to miss anymore. So... If I had any shots as uh, as my sniper, I would be desperate to take them, but he can't see anything, so I'm going to try and move him closer, but still has nothing. I have squad sight, don't I? Yeah, I do. I guess I just don't have anything in sight. So, let's... Uh... What the fuck? Oh, it's a battle scanner. I thought I was putting him in oversight, and then I thought he was throwing a grenade, and I was like, oh no. 
Okay, let me see. Do I still have that? Yeah, he has the stun rod. So let's see if I can get some people moved closer with some flanking maneuvers so that I can uh, can do some real damage here. But it looks like all these flanking maneuvers are going to be dashes. I don't think I'll be able to see over this, but I'll move sort of closer and be ready to flank on the next turn. We move her to uh, over here where she'll be able to move into position next turn. Uh, if I had suppression, now would be a great time for it. But I don't. I don't have any way to suppress these guys. So let's just kind of move some of these guys forward. I don't think that he should stay where he is. I think that he's going to take some real damage. And I think to sort of force uh, some movement from them, I'm going to shoot a rocket and take out all of their cover. So let's, uh, let's do that. And uh, that'll force them both to move elsewhere. Also, now they've... Uh, They've taken some damage. Unfortunately, they're going to do their little intimidate move, and hopefully it doesn't hit any of my guys. All right, no, it didn't. All right, that's good. Okay, so I um, still want to probably hang kind of back because these guys even with Blood Call are about as good shots as, as the game will let happen. So maybe I'll kill one of them, and I'll capture the other one. Really? Still only a 57% chance to hit, even though they are... Oh, that's with Rapid Fire. Okay, so um, let's do the rapid fire thing again, although it'll drain like all my ammo. So, yep, there's a kill again. All right, and I think I only use the ammo for the first shot. I don't, I'm not 100% sure though. So let's see where he goes. He's gonna run back, but if you remember, I have my person there to help flank. So let's uh, let's leave the sniper here, minding that business. And let's uh. Let's see what we got back here. Where can I still be in good cover? That's good cover still. Let's see if we can see him. Nothing doing there. So let's get... Uh... We don't want to overextend ourselves, although that's definitely an overextension. I know I just said that, but I guess he can't see still, so that's not as bad. And maybe uh, we'll get an over overwatch shot here if uh, if they move too close. So let's let's get some other guys close. This is tense because I'm trying to capture it. I really should just be trying to kill it. Uh, I'm probably making a grave, grave, grave error, but you know, uh, fortune favors the bold. I don't know that that applies to XCOM, but uh, you gotta try something. So let's see what he does. So it looks like he's trying to flank around this side. Let's see what Shapiro does. She's probably gonna miss that. No, she gets it. She gets the kill. Nice work. Nice work, Heather. Nice work. All right, so looks like we're up to Sniper Man. Um, I'm going to try and reposition him to be useful as we push in. But this is going to be tough because, well, at least he's got Gunslinger. So Gunslinger gives him two bonus damage with the pistol. So let's, uh, let's just dash him forward, be ready to uh, help out inside. We'll set up in one of those side rooms, but we still got probably a couple more um, alien types to deal with. We'll see what happens when the... Uh, if we get some, some... if we get within hearing range of anybody. So, get some guys on Overwatch and uh, start start dashing everybody back, although that's probably not the smartest, safest thing to do. I'm fairly confident that those mutons were probably most of the force outside. I think we probably just had like sectoid dudes um, left, but maybe I shouldn't be so sure. Sectoids and thin men, and uh, the overseer, of course, uh, will be minding the uh, the pilot controls. But uh, maybe we'll be responsible. No, there's no way to be responsible with this guy. Let's just dash over here. <clears throat> Can't always play safe. Oh, looks like there's more guys out there. Yeah, like two groups of them. Let's uh, switch back to sniper rifles. And let's uh, let's keep pushing out. I should reload if I don't spot anybody. Really shouldn't do it on the front lines, but what am I gonna do? Not reload? I should reload with her too, but I just reloaded with the other guys, so I can't. Um, let's get Robbie moving forward a little bit. Let's try and get some of these guys who are not in cover right now in some kind of cover, but there's nothing good. 
And I don't want to trigger anything yet, so... And I don't want to bunch them up either, because... Mutants have grenades, so... Let's move Michelle to there. Michelle. Let's get Josh up to here. I think that's our turn, so let's, uh... Yep, here we go. More Mutants. Let's get some shots going. Ooh, everybody's shooting. Everybody's, like, missing, though. Oh, there we go. There's a hit. Nice crit there. So it's not uh, the most miserable performance ever, like I thought. Just mostly the most miserable performance ever. So they're going to move out of, uh, of range or out of uh, sight. But I'm getting flanked in a couple different places, so that's not good. How do I not... How can I not hit anything? That's preposterous. I have squad sight, so I don't know. All right, so there's no good shots there. I have a couple flanks here. I think this is one of them, but she's out of ammo. So I think she's going to alien grenade this guy to still do some damage and also keep this guy out of cover. So he'll have to move. So he's flanked now. And that should be a much better shot. Yeah, 55% chance to hit. Let's take it. Excellent work. That's a kill shot. All right. So now she's no longer flanked. Although she's still not in the greatest of positions. I wonder if she can... How much damage? is Six damage is peak. And that's not a killing shot. But I might be able to finish him off with a shotgun. Let's, uh, let's do something dumb here. So let's uh, flank this guy. Get a nice crit chance on this too. So... Alright. Ooh, but he's going to intimidate. Please don't panic anybody. Alright, cool. Let's get... Uh, now he's got to move somewhere where he won't be flanked by that other guy. Or she's got to. Um, so I guess, technically... No, that's a dash, technically. And it's technically flanked as well. So I'm going to move her over here where she's theoretically not flanked. We're going to capture this muton. And maybe we'll capture the other one too inside the, uh, the UFO. So that is a, uh, a stun muton, but I don't like where she is positioned. I don't think I have much to say about it, though. I think uh, I'm kind of stuck. So let's move the uh, other rook here to maybe keep some pressure on. Maybe they will won't do anything. Oh, an overwatch should help also keep the pressure off, because if they try to really flank, I should be able to shoot it. So they're going to throw a grenade, maybe. No, he's just like, okay, here we go. There's a reaction shot that I wanted. This should be a kill, uh, but we'll see. If he misses, if I miss... Nope, I do not. And I earned a promotion. So, that's pretty sweet. Alright. That may or may not be... Um, all the guys outside. So let's... Uh, let's take stock. We'll do a little reloading. We'll spread out a little bit so that we can't be grenaded. And uh, reload with a couple guys. Yeah. I'll keep her up just in case. Re reload with everybody else. Let's see what we hear. Where the sounds come from. Nowhere. Let's take one more turn of uh, positioning and reloading. It's the 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 PNR PNR positioning and reloading. That's a real term. I swear. It's not something I just made up two minutes ago. And not even minutes. Two seconds ago. So let's uh. Advance folk and reload. Although I wonder if that precludes the uh, the whole alien noise thing. Alien noise phenomenon. I hope moving this close is not a mistake. Nope. Alright, cool. Let's see if we get alien noises. Nothing. I think alien noises are also supposed to know that they're like a turn away. But I'm not certain. So Daniel Emanuel is going to be moving forward slowly but surely, which means Daniel Emanuel is using his manual uh, manual weapon. I don't know. That's strained. Um, let's see. Who do I want to start advancing on the ship with? I guess my heavy can hang out over here, see if there's anything in here. I did, wouldn't have thought that there would be, so there usually isn't on these UFOs. Let's get some of these other guys just kind of running forward. We don't want to overextend everybody. We don't want everybody just 
not on Overwatch. And of course, some of these people who we put on Overwatch are kind of useless anyway. Like putting a, a rookie on Overwatch is kind of like, hey, shoot me. So um, having a far away shotgun on Overwatch, not a great idea. But, uh, you know, you got to move forward and you can't have stragglers. All right, let's see what we get. Yeah, that's the, that's the, that's the big boss, the uh, the overseer guy. So let's see how close I get my sniper. All right, uh, not close enough. Maybe I should put her into uh, into cover, into good cover. I'm gonna move uh, heavy up to here, to this highly volatile uh, spot. I'm pretty sure that they've mentioned that those things will explode pretty big. So it's a good thing that I put them there. Um, now let's uh, keep dashing people close. I could have run and gun with her, but I'm not that concerned with it. I've got the heavy in there uh, watching. So let's uh, some of these other guys in here. Let's get Robbie, who has earned a promotion. Michelle, who is not. Uh, even with her perk to run like way fast, she can't make it there. Let's see uh, if she sees anything in here, which I don't want to. And let's get my boy Josh up in this piece as well. Aliens, y'all. Aliens. All right. So that might be this back chamber here might not be. I'm going to set up over here in case I see something in the doorway. Um, I'm going to take the assault with me because they can... He's got my stun. Take uh, the heavy. Let's these guys are taking point. And then I'm going to set up with rooks uh, to cover their backs. Let's uh, get him set up there. My support should probably stay back a little bit. Let's put her over here. Even though she's got one of my better weapons. And have that rook hang out there. Alright, Josh. Let's put the sniper on sniper rifling. Let's make it happen. See what we got in here. Nothing. All right, so that means he's in this back chamber here. Set up here, same as same as before. Second verse, same as the first. I'm Henry the Eighth. I am. I wish I hadn't uh, overwatched the uh, sniper yet, but what are you gonna do? So I guess with my rooks, I'm gonna try and flank around this side because. If not, sometimes they'll just run out the other side. So and I'll, maybe I'll take this that support. We'll go with him. <laughs> so they'll guard the other door in case the overseer decides to run out it. And uh, I'll move the sniper up to, you'll see what point in a second. It should be right there. Yep, that means it's in the like control room. I can't activate, I think, until I get there. So let's move my sniper up to here. Daniel the manual. In place. Uh, Maria Gonzalez. Stay guarding there. Shapiro, stay guarding there. Let's get Rob guarding this door here. And uh, overwatch him there. Um, maybe I'll put Michelle over here. It's like, please don't activate any aliens who are secretly hiding out there. All right. So now we are all set to breach on the next turn. I probably won't capture it, but I can. And I guess for the rifle, I can. But I'm just going to set up in case uh, in case it goes wrong. Um, have these other guys guarding these doors. All right. Let's break through. Let's see what we get. There we go. The uh, outsider overseer, overseer, I think is what it's called. Now up, does not actually uh, make much movement to the outside at all. Um, I'll move him 
We'll have it tethered over here to take a shot. What she got? Hollow targeting and fire rocket. So let's move her over here. 67% shot chance to hit, which will go up if she misses. All right, and she does. So now I'm gonna have to kill. We're gonna have to shoot to kill. But luckily, we have uh, hollow targeting and we're flanking. So this should be about as sure a shot as you get. 34% chance to stun. I'm not dumb enough to take that. We're gonna rapid fire just in case we don't do enough damage. But we're gonna crit probably. So let's just take these shots. One, one shot, one kill. Well, except for Heather's missed shot. Seven aliens killed, no operatives lost. This is how you play XCOM, y'all. I am going to eat those words in the next mission, but I'm proud of myself. What am I, what, what can I say? What can I say? All right, so let's fly on home. It takes a little while because the other plane has to get home first. All right, uh, I've lost that country. I've lost that country. I'm going to lose probably three more, actually, when this month is over. So all my... Uh, all my boasting is for nothing. All right, so this is my first colonel in this game. In the zone, killing a flanked or uncovered target with a sniper rifle does not cost an action, which is pretty good. But um, I think a, the better choice is double tap. Allows both actions to be used for standard shot, headshot, or disabling shot, provided no moves were made one turn cooldown. It's brilliant. It means every other turn I can fire twice, and I can do it with even the specialty shots. So that's a no-brainer. Uh, just like my enemies won't have any. All right, I think this is the highest I've ever got a squad, uh, uh, an assault. So extra conditioning, bonus health based on which type of armor. Oh no, it's not. All right, so now she gets bonus health. Um, Robbie's now a support. Pretty cool. All right, my boy Robs, and Michelle is also a support. Now I think I have a support with Sprinter. I think it is. Who is it? Um, Let me look. Let me look at my guys before I do anything. So I recovered a plasma rifle because I stunned that muton and an alien grenade. Grenade. Five mutes on corpses. One mutes on captive. Illyrium, alien alloys, flight computers, power sources. But I think I've already interrogated a uh, muton because there's no. Yeah, there's no muton interrogation. Let's sell these damaged pieces. Um, complete that transaction. Back out a little bit. Now I wanted to look at my supports. I have that support and I have Robbie who's a support. Uh, maybe I'm just imagining. Maybe I have an injured support. Yeah, Eric's a support as well. So Eric doesn't have any abilities. Uh, Michelle, then, I know I haven't really started yet, but she's going to build... Um, God, covering fire, I just don't like it. I guess I could get free attacks, but I rarely see it useful, and I should... Well, I don't know. I don't know. Sprinter's so valuable. Since she's the only one who is upgraded, she's going to be my sprinter. My next support, we'll, we'll, we'll try that other one. One, two, three, four. I have all classes represented. So uh, let's see what's going on here. Nothing uh, that I can afford. Uh, decent decent size memorial. Uh, all right. The new engineers Got some more engineers. Plasma rifles to more help tomorrow. Um see what else we can do. Sorry guys. Satellite's coming so I don't need to worry about that. Satellite uplink in nine days which is, if I recall, not enough time to keep those uh, those people from leaving. So now I have light plasma rifles which is great because the ones that I've found I can now use. Uh, better understanding with these passing days. One aspect of the process involved in designing you must also ensure that they um, the armaments are accustomed to, if the weapon doesn't conform to human ergonomic standards, they won't be able to fire it effectively. Weapons weight, overall accuracy, excellent. So now we get light plasma rifles we can use. Plasma cannons uh, will be good for, uh, for our ships. Uh, plasma pistols will be nice, but plasma rifles are pretty important too, especially since we've recovered one or two of those. So we're going to work on plasma rifles, and then we're going to research maybe Illyrium or something like that. So let's get that moving. And um, let's get the clock moving again. Have that satellite now. Carry on. Plasma rifles. Uh oh. Oh no, terror missions. All right. And in in uh, Asia, which I'm gonna lose Japan. And if I don't, I guess I can save China if I do this. I won't lose China. 
Let me make sure that I can't actually launch. Yeah, I can't. All right. So if I can't successfully fight off this terror mission in Hong Kong, I'm going to lose China. I was going to lose China anyway. So I guess maybe I'll help myself. I'll tell myself not to worry so much about it that way. But guys, this is this is going to be trouble. I can tell already. I've only got five pieces of... Uh, of carapace armor, and now that Robbie has uh, has gotten a promotion, he gets it. Um, I have a support, assault, sniper, heavy support. Maybe I want to bring another heavy. I don't have any other heavies. All I have are rookies, or I can bring another sniper, but I don't know that I'd be able to do enough damage to make bringing another sniper worth it. Certainly more than a rookie, so we're going to put her in. Okay, so let's uh, get our loadouts right. Medkit's fine. Alien grenade is definitely what I want because I don't think I have anything. I don't have chitin plating or anything like that. Uh, that's the best I can do. Uh, laser sniper rifle. Perfect. Laser pistol. Scope. Alright. Loadout. So now that I have plasma rifles, this is a 6-9 with a 20% crit. And this is 5 7 with a 10% crit. So this is better. Um, this is now the conflict. Do I want to take an Arc Thor just in case I run into something to capture? Eh, why not? Just in case I get something lucky. But pretty sure that I'm not going to. Uh, maybe hold on to. Alright, so he's going to take a light plasma rifle for sure. Maybe take an alien grenade with him. I wouldn't mind another. Uh, another med kit so maybe I'll take one on my sniper even though she'll be hanging back pretty far she doesn't have any body armor or anything well Jen you might not you might not make it through this mission let's launch let's go to Hong Kong home of uh, Jackie Chan in rush hour one um, home of we have visual on the mission site. Setting down. former British occupation uh, We're heading into China for the next home of operation. Cantonese. Alien terror attack in of alien Hong Kong, China. In a densely populated urban Let's do this, y'all. <laughs> I'm a little scared. That's why they call them terror missions, y'all. Okay. Everybody runs off the Sky Ranger. Ah! Like the where they bare their teeth like that. All right. So most important thing in one of these missions is to get my sniper in a perfect position to be able to hit as much as possible. Um, I can turn low cover into high cover, so maybe this position would be fine. It might be overextending. Maybe I should take this one, but this one is going to be safer. So let's set up and hope we don't all die. Miserable, miserable, terrible deaths. Like we probably all will. Um, God. I hate these missions. I hate them. I hate them so much. Uh, having a heavy in a sensible position is very important for these because those rockets are going to be vital. So let's keep her sort of in a good spot there. Um, let's get one support over to here. He's my one with my grenade, so he's going to be the one who kind of pushes the front. And... Michelle, who is, I should not, I should have taken off that laser rifle. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, she's gonna hang back though. Although I might need her offense since she's got that laser rifle. Uh, Jen, with her other sniper rifle, is gonna take this spot over here. And I guess I'm gonna run and gun up a little bit. Hopefully, I don't see any uh, any chrysalid motherfuckers. Oh, Jesus. Remember what I just said? Hopefully I don't see these guys. So Looks like a lot of people are taking reactor shots, though. Thank God the laser hits, so that's another one that's nearly dead. And they also they don't hang out in, uh, in cover, so uh, they're pretty easy to hit. <sighs> My philosophy says that I should rapid fire, but 95% is pretty solid chance to hit. So we're going to take it. And we're going to be okay. 
the only problem is now these chrysalis are active, although they would have been active before, and they're gonna be walking a thousand feet per turn. Like they're so fast. But that one decided to go back for more civvies. So that I'm okay with, but this one is gonna come out. So somebody just got iced. Alright, looks like one of my snipers can see. And thankfully, this is my one with double tap. Maybe I should check to see what Jen can see. Um she can't see anything. She's in a bad position. I'm gonna move her up to here, even though it might be deadly for her. And uh, for this turn, she's gonna be an Overwatch with her shitty pistol. All right, let's uh, let's take a crit shot, and that's a kill, confirmed kill. All right, so uh, he's on double tap now, but there's no other shots to take. I don't think. Really? Why didn't it? I guess because there's no other shots, it just automatically ends that turn. So let's move forward a little bit more. Still no enemies. Let's uh, overwatch. Because just because we're theoretically supposed to be rushing to save these guys doesn't mean that it's a good idea. So now we're in a better rocket position. Unfortunately, uh, the more I let these chrysalids run wild and rampant, the more dangerous the situation I'm creating for myself. So I can't dilly dally too much. And Michelle is gonna hang out over here. She had a, val a valuable shot with that laser rifle, so let's put her there. Put her here. All right, let's see what we get. All right. So, lucky me that I put that pistol in Overwatch. So that's two damage there. Let's see what else we get. Maria gets a snipe or a shotgun blast. It's gonna miss. It's too far away. I like how they still have to like do a little clicky reload, even though it's lasers. All right, that's a kill. And we got some sound coming from the from the front. So there should be some zombies and some chrysalid babies being created. If you don't recall how that works, it's kind of a giant pain in the ass. So we're going to put him in Overwatch and just keep moving inch and forward until I have uh, my running gun back. And also I feel like I'm in a comfortable position. I just cannot afford to make costly dangerous stupid moves so Robbie's gonna move up with me too and cover my back Let's see if that puts a better position for the heavy to go to yes it does heavy needs to reload though well I guess the most important thing is a rocket so I'll just have her um, overwatch and if she fires again she fires again so let's keep moving forward there's no way that um, there's only chrysalids here. There's probably cyberdisc, so sounds like. Oh, there it is. So let's see how that guy decides to set up. If he sets up out here, that'd be perfect, because then I can um, set up a, uh, a rocket on it. Oh, right, I killed it with reaction shots. And that'll do some damage to the little drones that follow it. But it also means... Well, one of the little drones is flanking me, so I guess I can see it. 84% chance of hit. Um, maybe I should let somebody else take that shot so that they uh, they get some experience. So let's, uh, maybe my backup sniper? 57% chance to hit. I'm going to put my backup sniper in Overwatch. That's probably safer. All right, let's uh, put my laser rifle here, take it out. I missed. That was an 86% chance to hit, y'all. You saw that, right? Um... My LMG has no bullets, it's gonna reload. Light plasma rifle, 70% chance to hit. Robbie, do me a solid, please, will ya? That's a miss. Who's left? Uh, I guess it's just down to, down to me. 84% chance to hit. I'm right in front of it and it's got no cover. And I missed. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, double tap, but I think I'm gonna be out of ammo now. The most difficult drone to kill in the game's existence goes down. There's another one out there, though. Although, nope, I guess not. This uh, sniper rifle needs to get reloaded. The shotgun needs to get reloaded. So everybody else is gonna sort of cover everybody else's back, but we're gonna. We can't afford to slow down too much. I'm going to put him on overwatch, although that needs to get reloaded as well. Um, this needs to get reloaded. 
We're green to go. I really, there's like a, I think a, a foundry perk later that improves your ammo usage. And I'm gonna, that's gonna be useful. You know, the good thing actually, all these walls burning down, is that I can, uh, it means I can see a little bit better uh, for shooting with my sniper. So, unfortunately, I had no bullets. So, looks like Robbie got a good hit. And these guys are actually relatively good, easy to hit because they don't take cover. Um, so, but if I can't take him out this turn, I'm gonna have trouble. So, alright. So, Peterson just earned herself a promotion with a solid shot from way across the map. Um, there's still at least one chrysalid running around, so I can't be completely, uh, you know, um, chill about what's going on. But I guess I should probably try and kill this one that's uh, got more health with my snipers. It's a 100% chance to hit no matter what. So that's 6 health. Maybe I should have gone for the short thing, maybe not. But I also get to double tap, so let's take out the one with 3 health. Alright, cool. That's a Confirmed kill. Alright, so... Uh, no ammo in this guy's gun. Um, he could go for the pistol shot, but I'm not going to bother with that. This laser rifle should have a pretty good chance to hit. It's only 63, but we'll take it. Of course, it's a miss. Which uh, leaves certain other people to pick up the slack. I can run and gun up close. I really worry about exposing myself to another one, though. But let's move a little bit closer. I don't see any other ones, so let's uh, let's take these shots. The shot, and let's hope that nothing else moves forward to make me regret moving her forward to definitely get that kill. All right, here comes more cyber discs. They shouldn't get a move first because they just showed up. Yeah, here we go. So now they're gonna do whatever their stupid cyber disc thing is. Um, that tank blew up. Alright, so I can fire on the cyber disc, which is definitely the right decision, or I can fire on the stupid piddly drone guy. But I need to deal a lot of damage, so let's start dealing the damage to this guy. I got to double tap last turn, so I don't get to do it again. Um, I might want to shoot a rocket here. I don't know how far my range is perfect. It's just far enough, so let's shoot this rocket. Hope it doesn't stray. Or kill civilians, but it didn't. So that little guy's dead. Um, I can keep moving forward a little bit. I st I'm still worried about that chrysalid who's just like hanging out somewhere. Can I hit it with my grenade from over here? Yes, I can. So that's definite damage versus the 50% shot. So I want to take that. And now, let me see what else I can do. If I move too close to any other person, it's going to throw a grenade and that's going to deal damage to each person, so let's just kind of inch our way forward. How, how's that guy even in cover? Um, she needs to move forward because she's not relevant where she is. She still can't see anything though, but I'm going to put her in pistol overwatch. Should have given her a better pistol. Um, Alright, so this is an important shot. I used my running gun. I can get good cover here. Alright, let's see what I can do. 56% chance to hit, 71% chance to hit, 7 damage. The chance that I miss is less with rapid fire. Keep that in mind. Do the math yourself. Because the chance that I miss both is lower, but it still doesn't make this any less tense. I still make the shot. I keep, I keep making that as a caveat, and then I keep getting that shot, that first shot. So let's see. Oh, no. Another one. Shit. Although the big, the big daddy stayed inside. Uh, I'm going to have to overwatch on this turn. Um, put her on overwatch. See if that guy even pops out. I don't want to face these guys right now. So maybe I should run around them. I don't want to see a chrysalid back here though. So maybe I need to scout out this side first with Ravi. Alright, so there's nothing out here. Let's uh, move Michelle over to here and put her on overwatch so she can see the cyber disc when he comes popping out. You know what, maybe I'll move around to this side and uh, maybe I'll see the chrysalid if it's out here. It's not. 
but I'm also out of range to the other guy. Uh, my heavy no longer has a rocket, so she's still useful, but less useful to me. I don't want to keep her in the center lane to be a target, but I don't really see much else I can do and keep her effective. Although maybe if I just start trying to get around or get a little closer without moving too into firing range too much, yeah, I can go around this side. So let's see what we get. All right, Cyberdis pops out. It's a miss, and the sniper rifle actually hits six damage. Although that sniper rifle is now out of ammo, so that's the one shot that I get that turn. Let's see where this guy ends up. I don't think he can get a shot. Maybe on Michelle. There's the drone. It's gonna repair. All right, so. There's a civilian making a really stupid move. Let's reload here. And let's, uh, let's get set up a little bit. How close can I get with running gun? Close enough to be stupid. So let's not do that. Let's move a little bit. No, let's keep her far. There's still a chrysalid running around. That's the thing that wigs me out the most. Um, she's got a shot on both. 63%. And she's got pretty good cover herself, so she's going to take the first shot. Alright, so that's a hit. Confirmed hit, 4 damage. She's out of ammo, though. Let's start to get some of these guys. I guess they're still too far away. They can't really do anything. So, let's get them up to here. Can't believe that's a dash. That's ridiculous. Um... At him. Leaving them both exposed is a bad idea. Up to here. Or her. Although I need her. I need her to, to do her grenade. To toss a grenade. There's nowhere good to take cover over here. I don't think there's any shots from inside this building either. That little closet has only one entrance. I could move up to here. That would just put me in danger. It's pretty good cover still, though. Let's uh, let's run and gun over to there and see what we can do from here. All right, we still got both shots. I can deal up to seven damage per, so that's 10, 13 damage. I have to hit both uh, or maybe some crits. So let's see what we get. That's going to be a miss. Nope, that's an 11 damage crit. And a kill? Yes! Maria Gonzalez. Greatest soldier out there. Two damage to that guy. So let's see where he goes. Isis, my civilian, like an asshole. Stupid drone. There's still chrysalids running around, guys. So we can't take it easy yet. Gonzalez needs to reload. Let's get uh, Rob around the corner over here take this guy out. Should be a pretty easy shot. Pretty good weapons, so that's a kill. Another day, and that's it. Another only... Ah, oh, come on, I only got a good? This game is bullshit sometimes. I bet if I had 15 it would have been excellent, but I didn't kill that um... didn't kill that uh, drone in time. So we managed to save Hong Kong. Uh, remember how I was boasting and bragging? Well, you know, I... Uh, not gonna lie, maybe it was worth it. So Eric is back to active duty while I fly home. A lot of promotions. So Heather is my debuff heavy, so she's gonna get suppression. Although Shredder's a pretty good debuff. But suppression, see, with suppression still works with hollow targeting. So you can hollow target and then you can suppress. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good uh pretty good thing. So um Remember I said the last one's going to be a sprinter, so this one now is going to have covering fire. That could be interesting to test out. I've never used that really before. Uh, Michelle just got the uh, the nickname Cookie, but uh, I'm probably going to change that off screen. Uh, since she's my, my real real medic, she's going to get um, field medic. Three medics, three med kits per, uh, per, per thingy. Um, and since I have a squad sight sniper, even though they're really valuable, God, but... You know, I've used Snapshot before, and I don't really like it. A 20 aim penalty is pretty, pretty steep. I mean, I guess you, you it's only 10 if you have a scope equipped on them. But it's still really steep, and I don't like it. 
I'm going to stay with squad site. I don't... No, but then with this, then I... Yeah, I'm going to go with Snapshot. Chrysalid Autopsy, Cyberdisc Rex, Drone Rex, Weapon Fragments, Illyrium. Panic in China has decreased by three, and it's decreased across Asia. So by doing that one mission, we saved China, and we're going to keep Japan. We're only going to lose South America now because we won't be able to launch a satellite before the end of the month. So that's uh, that's what you call a good haul. Now I'm going to keep on with my plasma rifles because I want plasma rifles, but then I'm going to go straight on to chrysalids so I can get uh, chitin armor, which is pretty good to defend against um, melee attacks. And uh, my satellite uplink's being built. I guess I should probably excavate one of these, but I'm going to do that later when I have a little bit more money. Um, although why? I don't know why I'm waiting. Let's uh, get to the end of the council report, and then we're going to end the month. So now we have plasma rifles, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we can build them, and we can now just pick them up. So it's extensive effort by the research team to reduce the considerable mass of larger alien plasma rifles. Remember, mutons are the guys who carry this. By replacing the outer frame components with composite materials, we've managed to substantially reduce the weight without compromising power output or accuracy. Coincide with added health, heft of a larger power supply, but managed to net an overall reduction of several kilograms. Uh, firing rate and overall damage, pa pa pum, additional modifications for an integrated Illyrium power cell, highly advanced mobile plasma discharge weapon that improves on nearly all aspects of the conventional X9. Uh, they're on standby, standby, and anything that we cover from the field, perfect. We also probably want, oops, um, come on, Let's get back to XCOM, everybody. Probably want. Um, to get the heavy lasers, or no, the heavy plasma, so that we can build um, heavy plasma weapons and, and heavy s plasma shotguns. And we're going to skip, um, and we'll go with plasma sniper. Yeah, let's, laser sniper is a, an okay step, but our LMGs and, our, and can use a step up from, from what they have. I know that I was supposed to build a Lyrian, but I'm going to go with this, seven days. Um... And let me see, how many of these do I even have? I have up, I have two pl light plasmas, I have two large plasmas, I have one laser, a one scatter laser. So we're uh, we're in pretty good, pretty good way. I guess I'll just build this because why not? We only need one. Now we have it. The potential for this sort of tech would have been limitless if the aliens had only come in peace. And how are we doing on soldiers? We've got nine soldiers. It's probably not as deep a bench as we want, but it's what we're gonna it's what we're gonna hold on to. So now we can theoretically assault the alien base. Let's get to the council report, and then uh, we'll end the episode. All right. I got a B probably. Yep. We lost Brazil, Brazil, and Argentina. <sighs> South America is just gone. So we got a, a B. We got shot down one UFO, one terror mission stopped, two abductions stopped, eight research projects, one UFO raided. It's pretty good. If we get Mexico, we'll get their cover or their their uh, a bonus, and uh, at least we get Africa's bonus, even though we only have one country in Africa. So let's carry on. Remember, we will be watching. Uh, and uh, as always, we're gonna leave with a view of the uh, memorial. But hey, guys, for one of the first episodes in a long time, we don't add to this. So thanks for watching, uh, Dan Plays XCOM. This has been Dan, and this has been XCOM, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.